Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Let us learn from number 15 of uh, the Kyoten, words for not turning into yokai, and I quote, One of the modern characteristics of yokai is deception. They're extremely skillful at patching things up for the moment. Thank you, Lord God. So yesterday I was talking about more of like political, um, uh, a bigger picture, but bringing it back to our own hearts, our own minds for self-reflection. Jesus, <laughs> this hurts. Um, uh, sometimes, mm, if you're smart, if you're a quick thinker, and if you're a quick speaker, and quick speaker doesn't make sense, but like you know, you're some people are just they. Some people are just like really good with um, coming out with lies after lies, excuses after excuses, and they use their intelligence to how to navigate themselves away from their own responsibility and to be able to blame the environment and not only that because they're so deceitful they have this influential power to make other people believe in it so it's manipulative too so um self preservation self uh, preservation leads to deception and leads to manipulation and justification and then it allows evil to be evil uh, i mean it allows evil to co to be rampant but then it glosses over that evil and as if it doesn't exist that's yokainess. And it comes from this, I think, one of the characteristics is deception. Um, you know, the modern day people are losing religious values at a very rapid pace, especially in developed nations, America and Japan. And it's said that there's only 68% of people who believe in God in the uh, younger people in, in the uh, America. Um, for, uh, I think, for Democrats. For Republicans, it's a little more, but yet it's still decreasing for younger people. That's scary. That is extremely dangerous. But anyhow, going back to today's point, if you don't believe in God, if you don't believe in the afterlife, if you don't believe that, you know, your grandma and grandpa who passed away are looking over you and how you're living, that means you can do whatever you want if you don't get caught by the law. That means you can do whatever you like if uh, no one's watching. But does a healthy society truly form with that kind of mentality? Obviously, it does not and it cannot. You see, there's a limit to what laws can do. There's a limit to what restrictions can do. Ultimately, there needs to be morals, right, and ethics. And at the root of morals and ethics is a religious belief that there are consequences to your actions, that there is going to be a hell awaiting you if you continue to deceive others. And even if you were never caught by the police, even if you broke none, not a single law, you can still fall to hell. And it's not only just not believing in God. It's not that simple. It's, I mean, that, of course, is, will be one of the general reasons to fall to hell. But it, all of our actions are being weighed uh, without any miscalculation. The calculation of the virtue and the vice that we've accumulated in our lives are so crystal perfect clear. There's not even one millimeter of misdecision from the judge of hell called Yama. You'll learn about this in the laws of hell. There's not even a one millimeter of misjudgment. Everything is recorded and everything will be shown in front of other people after you pass away. That's the spiritual truth that Alcantara has taught us. And without this belief, ethics and morals will die out. Our personal emotions or our personal uh, quote-unquote happiness and our own truths with a small t, the subjective truths, will start governing things. And then if we do... A if we practice democracy of greed and if we practice democracy of entitlement and if we practice democracy of like you know brats like that how is that going to make a good good country right look at the cause and effect ladies and gentlemen so it's very very important to have religious faith back in our country back in the world so there's no more deception and lying so those are my thoughts what do you think please do the session tomorrow uh see you tomorrow